Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be doing a new tutorial on how to work with the Timeline JS uh, plugin in Drupal. Uh, what's the Timeline JS? Um, from this you can see it's a beautifully crafted timeline that are easy and intuitive to use. Uh, if we scroll down, uh, we should see it's an open source tool that enables us to build visually rich interactive timelines and it's available in 40 languages uh, so say for example we want to show a timeline of an individual uh, in a very informative way in a way where people can interact uh, this is the mode you should use uh, I'll, I'll quickly show you some examples uh, there's one website uh, this is for the life of Whitney Houston and so you can see the timeline below um, showing different descriptions so if you see between 1963 and 2012 if I, if I click on that it shows um, what she's achieved 1963 and stuff like that so say for example you want to create a timeline of something an event a program a marketing stuff uh, this is a very interactive way of doing it that, that, so that's for uh, an individual's um, life uh, time uh, if you look at something like this, this is um, the timeline of a long presidential campaign uh, for France. Uh, so yeah, looks similar. So today we're going to be looking at how we can build something like this in Drupal. Uh, to achieve this, uh, we have a module called the Views Timeline JS integration. So to start out with this tutorial, let's quickly download our module. I'll be using the Drush command line. So quickly type Drush, uh, download. Uh, views underscore timeline js and that should download our module for us and once our module is downloaded the next thing we want to do is enable our module as so I do that views uh, drush enable views underscore timeline js underscore feature and I say yes and this should enable our module all right now that our module has been installed we will we'll notice that because we're using the drush command line uh, to enable our module uh, it's gonna add and install some other modules uh, such as the date api which is the date module the libraries module the link module and the features module so if you're not using drush uh, you want to also uh, make sure you install some of these modules which are the dependencies uh, for you to be able to use the views timeline JS uh, another module we're going to be working with which we've not which uh, will not show up here is the views module uh, we we'll also use the devel uh, module so now this has been enabled let's go to our own page and let's refresh our own page All right so what I'm going to show you is if we go back to our modules um, uh, content and we go to our views timeline JS uh, we noticed that two uh, modules were installed now you can either work with just the views timeline JS or you use the views timeline JS features which creates a content type and a view for us uh, for this tutorial we're gonna be using the two so let's go back to our own page and let's create a content of timeline uh, date so that we can create a different timeline uh, to help me with this tutorial I've installed a DVL module to use in generating a timeline so what I'm going to do is I'll close that, go to configuration, development, and click on generate content. I'm going to be generating a content type of timeline. I'm going to be creating 20 nodes. Uh, I would make it span between one year. Uh, once that's done, I uh, click on generate. Right. So the devel module has generated 20 uh, nodes of uh, content type timeline for me. So if we go ahead and click on one of them, I uh, will see it as core text, uh, dates, uh, media link. And media image, a credit text, caption, uh, and other stuff like that. Uh, for the views timeline, uh, these are supported text fields that you can use with it text fields, long text fields, uh, supported date fields, uh, these different ones. So you can use any kind of field you like. Uh, for, for your own, you can decide to create a new content type for your own self and um, create a, a different uh, views for it. Right, so now that uh, We've um, generated our content using the DVL module. Uh, next, you want to do is uh, use the pre-configured views uh, page uh, that's been used for us. So, we'll click on views, uh, 
this tutorial gives you have an idea of how the views module works so um, here's our view called timeline so I'm gonna open that page in a new tab right the next thing you find is the timeline library could not be found so the next thing you want to do is install the timeline library uh, to install this if you go to the timeline JS and we go to github and then go ahead um, go ahead and download uh, this module I'm gonna download that as a zip file right once your download has completed you want to copy to your site or libraries folder I'm gonna paste it here I'm gonna extract uh, my timeline library here and once that's done let's go ahead and rename this to timeline or small caps uh, once that's done let's come back here and uh, let's flush our cache right beautiful so once uh, uh, our Drupal installation can recognize that our timeline library has been installed uh, automatically we see this um, field and you're wondering um, I thought this view was supposed to create um, a timeline um, for us so if you go to that view page click on edit uh, you see everything has been pre-configured pre for us uh, yet still we cannot find anything showing up yet so if we go back to that view and click on the settings uh, scroll down you should find where you're supposed to set the width of the timeline and the height of the timeline uh, so what I'm going to do is for the width I'm going to set um, 800 pixels and for the height I'm going to set 600 pixels uh, you can decide to use percentage for your own case you can decide to use height uh, for your own case in a situation you create a new um, content type that you want to use uh, with the views, ti uh, views timeline module uh, here's where you get to uh, change different settings that you like uh, you can choose what you want to be your headline your body your end date your media URL and whatever and so once this is done we'll click on apply and we'll go ahead and save our view page so if we go back to our timeline page now and click on refresh voila our timeline should now appear so now we can see the image uh, whatever content there is that's the title Linis Vlaga Remoso uh, so you might want to go ahead and probably style this and so now we can see the date and time 5 44 p.m. 8 15 a.m. 1 15 p.m. 4 p.m. Uh, you might want to change the way the date uh, should show uh, so uh, beautiful so if we come here for example and zoom on our timeline let's expand it a little more expand 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 and so now if we click on that we can we can scroll and look at different timelines for our events page for example uh, and so this is how to use uh, the timeline module uh, in Drupal see you in the next lesson